This mask is hot. Hello? Simon, man, where is this Marvel vs. Capcom Collector's Edition? Oh, dude, is that today? No, I completely forgot. You're making me angry, Simon. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Dude, just calm down. Hey gamers, it's me, Shinobi Nando, with another Collector's Edition unboxing for you today. Uh, today is Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. This is awesome. Another massive one. <laughs> All my unboxings need to be really, really big of late. So, let's get right into this. Right guys, let's have a quick look at the box art. You got Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite logo on the front. Ooh, a big box. And on the back, showcasing the four figures you get. The Infinity Stones. Let's open it up and take a look for it ourselves. No tape. Okay, but a lot of styrofoam. I have to do the old drop and plop. <sighs> right, guys, so finally got it out of the box. If Marvel vs. Capcom on styrofoam there, a bit of tape on the side. Crack this open. Hey, well, that was a another adventure within itself. Take it off the tape. Here we go. Right. Oh. Right there you go. Right off the bat, you have Mega Man, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, Chung Li, and Infinity Stones. Let's take these out one by one. Starting with Mega Man. So these, wow guys, these are really nice. Uh, they have like a glossy paint finish to them. Very detailed, very like the character from the game. That's one. Captain Marvel out, or Miss Marvel for you old school Marvel fans. Excuse me. There she is. Again. Lots of nice detail. We'll get some close-up B-roll footage in a minute. Jewel to the side. Got Tony Stark, Iron Man. Ugh, lots of little bags. But yeah, again, glossy paint. See, it's, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I wouldn't want to say plastic. It's a lot harder than that. The base is quite good as well. I think they interconnect. I'll have to check. And last but not least, guys, Chung Lee. Right there. Getting ready to do her signature kicks. Again, very highly detailed. On the green and blue side, apparently, of Capcom with uh, Mega Man. Pair them up there. Oh yeah, so yeah, they do kind of connect slightly. Uh, really? A little bit. Look. Yeah, kind of pair up like that. All right, let's take a look at the Infinity Stones. This is probably the thing that uh, I'm actually kind of more excited for. I don't know why. I'm a big fan of the movies. You got your batteries there. Open it up. Okay. So, they don't look like the individual gems you can remove. Probably because they light up with LEDs. But you have the, yeah, nice little box there. Put the batteries on the back, turn it on. Get some footage of it on in a minute. That's the six infinity stones. Alright, guys, so I managed to get the batteries in. It's like a little compartment in the back. So yeah, that is what they look like turned on. Again, we'll get some B-roll of that. I think that's quite nice. Um, wow, they even flash and everything. I didn't realize that before. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little display piece. If you're a Marvel fan, that's amazing.
So this is what you get in the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Collector's Edition. Let's just do a quick breakdown. So on the Marvel side of things, you get Iron Man and Captain Marvel, or Miss Marvel if you're old school like I said before. You get Chung Lee and Mega Man from the Capcom side. And in the middle, you get your cool LED Infinity Stones, which kind of light up and pulsate, which I thought was pretty cool. A really quick thing I noticed is they can kind of be paired up, as you probably saw in the B-roll. Probably not a very fair fight there. Which is kind of cool. However you want to display it, you can mix and match. So you actually buy this separately from the game. It comes as a standalone, which for a Marvel fan like myself is a big win. But I can appreciate that some of you will be a bit miffed that it did not come as a package. A lot of developers seem to be doing this now, separating the collectibles from um, the game itself, a trend that EA seemed to have started. I think it's so you could facilitate the, the argument that you could buy this digitally and then pick up the collector's edition if you wanted, or you could just pick up the standard or the deluxe or however you want to mix and match it. Um, some people will be mad, me and myself, like I said, I just wanted the collector's edition, so it wasn't a problem for me. Which statue is your favorite? I mean, it's kind of cool, it comes with four. Uh, or is the Infinity Stones your favorite bit of it? Let me know what you think in the comments uh, about the Collector's Edition. Do you like the fact that you can buy it separately so you can purchase it digitally if you're gonna keep it forever? Or would you prefer it if it came as a package? Don't forget to give me a like if you enjoyed the unboxing, it really helps out the channel. And subscribe because I'm gonna be doing more Collector's Editions unboxings coming up in the future, uh, especially leading into the holiday season. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Simon, aka Rebel Snorlax, for helping me do this unboxing as it was quite large. You can check out his channel in the links in the description below where he does uh, Pokemon and Star Wars unboxings as well as app reviews. And I'm a habit, please. Thank you.